not to talk too loud because Joe and Jake are still asleep, but I've heard Joe starting to stir. I always get up pretty early in the mountains as soon as the sun is starting to lighten things up and the birds start going nuts. So, yeah, good morning. I slept really well. I woke up a couple times. No weird noises. I mean, plenty warm with this. But if anything stuck out from underneath this, it was pretty chilly. So it still is pretty cold. The reason I haven't gotten up and wandered around is just because of that. I was trying to stay warm. I didn't end up putting my thermals on. I was warm enough like this, but if I get up and walk around right now, it's going to be... <laughs> I'm going to wish I had my thermals on. So, right now I'm just chilling in the hammock. I, I was so comfortable. I sleep really well in a hammock. So, really good night. Very peaceful. The sun isn't quite up yet. But the birds sure are. I've heard a variety of bird calls this morning. That's where it is for now. I'm just going to kind of wait until... Joe or Jake or some some life form gets up and starts moving around and then I'll hop out of the hammock. But for now, I'm really comfortable and warm, so what's the point in getting up? <laughs> Alright, that's where it is for now. Everything looks undisturbed. Kind of just the way we left it. Burned out all the firewood that we had going. It's very overcast. Not on a tripod right now because I used it for my trail camera there. So if there's anything on the trail camera, I don't know if there is. I didn't hear anything all night, but I'll insert it right here.
And if there's nothing on the trail camera, I'll just keep talking. But uh, I'm the first one up. <laughs> that might be a good thing. That means they slept well, I think. Um, beautiful stars last night. Saw a couple shooting stars. It was nice to be able to see the stars. The hike was worth it, so I didn't have to wear my sunglasses at night. Uh, like I did at my Hayden Lake trip. My first backpacking trip solo, uh, last year. 2021. Hiked all the way up to my camp and realized I forgot these in my car. Same same thing. But I didn't hike back for them last time. And this time I was like, no, this isn't happening again. So. Here's what we're looking at. Now that I'm up and moving, things are pretty comfortable. I'm not that cold. This new puffer coat did a great job. I actually slept in it, but with that and the down and the under quilt, I was almost too warm. So at one point I almost took the puffer coat off, but uh, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's probably in the upper 40s, maybe low 50s right now. And I figure since I'm the first one up, I will clean up the fire pit and start the morning fire. I love this fire starter that I use. It works really well. Burns pretty hot and for quite a while, so it should take the wood okay. The bed of the fire pit is still really hot from last night, so that'll help too. No condensation overnight. Um, even the ground isn't overly saturated with moisture, so it was a good night, especially for sleeping near a river where it tends to be you know, a little bit colder, a little bit wetter. Hasn't been bad at all. This has been a great spot to camp.
This wood we've been burning is really smoky. It's crazy. Oh, while I stepped away, the fire went down. I'll have to go get my bellows. Things are really handy. But don't ever use it to close it on your leg. Try to push it on your leg. I've got holes all over in these pants from doing that. And I've branded myself a few times. Last night an ember landed on my top of my thigh and burned a hole in my pants. I've got four or five holes in these pants from campfires all over the place and I think it's time to retire these <laughs> I have other hiking pants it's just these are the holy ones they're blue so I wear them more often but I've got some brown ones and some beige ones at home that's where the uh, I don't know if you can see but that's where the ember hit me last night and these holes here down here and there's another one over here um, they're from not thinking and using this to get the fire going and then pushing it against my leg to close it. Bad idea. So, it just closes up like an antenna. And you blow on the large end and put the small end in the fire and that's the result. And I am not going to wake Joe or Jake up. They both were feeling kind of rough last night so they can sleep as long as they want. I just thought it might be good to wake up to a fire and the food's already down so you know, they don't have to really do anything. Dinner was together and breakfast and lunch are all separate. That's kind of the way we do things. And so breakfast this morning for me is going to be well, those Pop-Tarts that were in that civilian MRE I brought and also I have some freeze-dried cold cereal that my buddy Kent made and gave me I'm gonna be having that just add some water and stir it up and I don't know just whatever else I decide I need for breakfast but I think that that'll probably do it so not a hot breakfast for me this time unless I find something in my food bag that I decide to heat up, but I don't think so. So this holds 50 ounces of water, one and a half liters. And I've got about 20 left in there, not quite half. And that's just right for some sugar-free caffeinated lemonade. <laughs> so I'm gonna start my day off with that. I don't really need a warm drink this morning. It's, uh, it's not super cold and I'm super thirsty. So this might actually hit the spot. Then of course I'll be having the Pop-Tarts courtesy of the US government. And here's the cereal freeze-dried that will just go into my cook pot and add some water and stir it up okay I see a movement over there look at that Wow the dead still walk the earth <laughs> how you feeling really did you sleep well man when we went to bed, it looked like you were just, like, gone. Yeah, it probably was. First. Yeah. Yeah. How's the head? It feels a little better. Still there, though? Uh, kind of there. Yeah. Still, you know how you feel after you throw up? Yeah. Just like... Yeah. Beat you up. <laughs>
Here's my lemonade. River water lemonade. River water lemonade. Kills the taste. <laughs> Here's what that looks like. Want some? <laughs> looks awesome. Thanks again, Kent, for all of this freeze-dried food. It's been awesome on this trip. Just kind of have to let it soak it up. Give that a few minutes to reconstitute. <clears throat> In the meantime, it's Pop-Tart time. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's double wrapped. It's inside that and then it's inside that. It even is official Pop-Tarts brand, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Good thing they put it in more, more foil. <laughs> this is probably just for protective purposes. Usually these are generic looking. They don't have the actual name brand on them. Oh, they're not even frosted. <laughs> you know who eats unfrosted Pop-Tarts? Communists. <laughs> And they're thinner than the regular ones. Yeah. Super thin. There's that. Look how thin that is. That's what it seems like to me, like they're being kind of chintzy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like paper thin. Those are the reject <laughs> All the rejects go into a bin and get shipped off to the government. <laughs> yeah, not very thick at all. And look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Joe survived the night. So far. How'd you sleep? Better than last, the night before. Seemed like you slept better. pretty good. Yeah. I didn't even have to buy food for this trip, except for the case of MRA things. But uh, that was a, an investment, not just for this trip. Sure. That makes it easier though, huh? Mm-hmm. So here's what we're looking at. Want some? Maybe if it was in focus? You piece of camera. There we go. Want some? Mm-hmm. I can't believe how well these reconstitute. The milk tastes like milk. Yeah. The yeah. snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> So what's for breakfast over here? Well, oatmeal later, but coffee for right now. Yeah. Just yeah. getting going. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. They have creamer and sugar added. But kind of an all-in-one thing? Yeah, they're kind of hard to read because I think they're Korean. Maxim, like the magazine. <laughs> You're going to get all the ladies. <laughs> I already got one. I'm good. Yeah, that wood is really smoky. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, this is pine. It's supposed to really burn well. Yeah. It, it smolders more than it burns.
Joe's having something similar, except his is, uh, yeah. what, what brand is that? Simple Truth. Simple Truth. I think Truth. that's from Fred Meyer. Mm. Yeah, granola, powdered milk. Yep. And a, it's not freeze-dried powdered milk. Still turns out pretty good. Yeah, it was very similar to yeah. what I had. Mine had uh, Cheerios in it, though. <laughs> that's, that's good, too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I usually have a warm breakfast. But this has been pretty good, just eating pop tarts, cold cereal, because I'm mm. I'm not all that cold. It's not too bad out here. It's, it's really not. Yeah. It's pretty mild. So Joe's making pancakes. I'm not having any, but he and Jake are. I'm full, but. Uh, this has kind of become a Joe staple. I think it has been. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's really nice to have out here. I it think. is. So. Comfort food. It is. You got syrup? Yeah. Did you bring syrup? More real maple syrup that they I squeezed out of the trees on the <laughs> ground. Yeah. Restaurant they go. Canadian maples. <laughs> oh, that's it right there. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of Duke Kaboom there. In yeah, Canada, yeah. But yeah. Your syrup oh, I like see. Bourbon. Are you sure it's not bad? Yeah, it does, huh? <laughs> at home when I'm working oh. on something. Oh. So I have some cinnamon I can put on it. You should. Yeah, just sprinkle it on. Okay. I turned it off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Got that on video. Did you? <laughs> Let's try that again. That's an outtake. <laughs> mm. That looks good. It does look good. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Have another, please. This will be yours too, if you want. I'm like, when you're full. I'm full. <laughs> yeah. And the the awesome, super thick, huge pop tart. <laughs> it was totally overdone. Just practically bathed in frosting, but not really. <laughs> yes, but not. Did you hear that? Something, something moved in. No, no. All right. Old friend, though. Oh yeah. I haven't seen any gray jays yet. You know the the gray birds that come in and yeah. try to pick at your camp. Maybe they don't come down here as well. I don't know. Not that it's that low. Yeah. Well, the sun has finally risen above the mountain, as you can see there, and we are starting to clean up camp. It is almost 9 a.m. Um, I think Joe and Jacob are pretty anxious to get out of here. They live in Boise, so they've got like seven hours to get home. We haven't even started taking down our tents yet, though, so it'll be a while. You seem to be feeling better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> yeah. Joe's kind of... I think he's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was ready to go last night. But I think he was too. Yeah. So he's he's already just packing his stuff up. And I, there's no way I could have hiked out last night though. Yeah. How I felt. So. Yeah. You were pretty rough. No question about it. It'll only take so. me 20 minutes at most. Yeah. To get packed up. Yeah. I think by 9.30 when I could be heading out. Yeah, okay. And maybe by, I don't think it'll take us an hour and a half to to get out. Yeah. Him and I, I think it'll take us an hour at the most. Yeah. So. I'm going to probably take my sweet time. I, I don't have a, like my kids aren't even at my house, so <laughs> I have nothing to run home for and I'm only two hours away, so yeah. I don't know. I don't blame you guys. It's that's a long way to go home. And yeah. It was fun though. That was oh, yeah. fun. It's good to meet you finally yeah. and get to know you. There he is. <laughs> Slow process, but we'll get this cleaned up and be on our way.
but we're getting there. Jake's got to take down his tent, and Joe is pretty much taking his down. Most of his gears together. All of mine is neatly packed, ready to go. No more hammock in the trees. No more stuff of mine, anyway. I don't think so. So, that's it. And if you were wondering about the GPS that Jake found, uh, it is not usable, by the way. It's probably seen several winters up here. He's gonna hike this out and uh, dispose of it properly. Somebody probably just dropped it several years ago and uh, you know, it just became part of the earth until Jake had to dig a cat hole. <laughs> so we're almost there, almost ready. Well, that is it. We are done. We are cleaned up. Our packs are on. As you can see, our guts are poking out. So, we had a good time. We did. I think it was fun. Yeah. You guys look pretty tired. Yeah. They had an extra night that I didn't I have. Pretty so. tired. And a long drive home. It's always yeah. worth it, though. Yeah, I yeah. think so. It's a good time. All right. Well, do yourselves a favor. Get off the couch. Get outside in nature and have some fun. The views are spectacular. And if you can't get off the couch, come along with us, the three J's. Jake, Joe, and Steve, Steve, <laughs> just Steve. We could use the company. See you in the next one.